All right, I get another neurobiology question involving um, the essentially involving the eye, and um, in this case, we're going to talk about explaining in general terms the two major pathways for visual processing in the visual cortex. Okay, so we want to know what happens to this information once it's received by the brain. Okay, what does the brain do with the information essentially? What does what what happens in the visual cortex? How do we how do we make sense of what we're seeing? Okay, how do we make sense of the things that we're we're visualizing in in space and what and what what makes that happen? Okay, and, and basically what, what makes that happen is there's just two major pathways, okay? And those pathways are called the what pathway and the where pathway. I know this sounds kind of um, unscientific, so to speak, but this is generally what they will be called. And for the purposes of an introductory course, I think that's sufficient. So they're called the what and the where pathway. So you might ask now, what is this what pathway? So the what pathway is associated with form recognition, okay? That's recognizing an object and being able to identify it, okay? So it's, a, it's involved in form recognition and, ident and object identification. So when an object is viewed in a particular context, so all, at all times we're viewing objects in particular contexts, okay? Um, the information is essentially processed by our brain, okay? It's processed by this visual cortex, and we have to find out, we have to figure out what this is. So how do we determine what this object we're seeing is? And that is essentially we proceed to a data bank, okay, in our brain, and we use previous knowledge, okay. We use stored memories, we use, um, and we use language to identify and articulate what we're seeing, okay. So this what pathway helps you to do that. And on the other hand, there's a there's what's known as the where pathway, okay. And the where pathway is associated with motion, okay. It's the ability to determine where an object is located in space. Okay, and is implicated in the control of eye and hand movement. Okay, so this pathway also has something to do with our, with the control of how our eyes move. Okay, and how we fix on objects, especially when things are in motion. Okay, so if some if if we're um, you know living at a time you know before uh, we're living at a time where we had to hunt for our own food and we're seeing an animal running across, we have to be able to track that animal. And humans are very very good at tracking things. Okay, we're very good at you know, eye movement and, and being able to fix on to something. And we're also good at coordinating that hand and eye, you know, that eye movement with hand movement or with action, okay? So that's what this wear pathway helps you to do, okay? Um, the pathway allows you to determine the exact location of an object as well as its location in relation to other objects. So, of course, there's tons of objects in space. You know, we're, we're outside in the environment. There's, there's plenty of things to see and plenty of things in the way. So we have to kind of make sense of how to navigate that space. This helps with navigation. I mean, you know, one of the things a robot can't really do is navigate a room if you put a chair in front of it. You know, it doesn't know how to get around the chair. And some of that has to do with not perfecting the... Um, the vision, not completely understanding how this how this process works. Okay, so people with damage to this pathway will have difficulty in determining the location of an object once it's put in motion. So they might be able to see the object, okay, when it's not in motion, but have a very very difficult time once it's put in motion. And that's what I was talking about as far as like tracking, being able to you know kind of move your eyes, fix on something, and um, you know make sense of where it is in location to other things, and you know how I might go about going to get it or whatever the case is okay and the pathways are processed independently okay they're processed individually independently from each other but eventually they have to converge okay and it makes total sense eventually they have to converge because we need both the information of the what pathway you know to associate the form recognition and um, object identification with of course the, where the object is located in, in space so we have to be able to make sense of both of these things at the same time so eventually these um, these two pathways converge, and when they converge, it allows us to say not only where the object is located, but what it's used for. Okay, what is the object? Where Where is it located? And that's really important, okay, and something we do every day.